up, man? Yeah, Bill. So, okay. These cords go back to here. Yep. So over time, those cords may loosen up yeah, just, as well. So these, these they're just tension knobs, and Th you can those just tighten those up. Those you can just up. tighten. You grab a pair of pliers, and you can just thread those right in, just like that. The other ends of these, this cord, yeah. Right underneath this little thing here, see, so you can stick a little flathead and pop that. Cover yeah. Off. Yeah. Underneath that is the ends of these cords. So if you do need to tighten that, cord, oh, okay, okay. Pop that cover off. Two little set screws in there, you'll see, and you can tighten those up right underneath there. So that's just just one knob, and then this is my steering right here on so, this yep, side. So this is your up and down. That's awesome. Start it up. different level than what I'm used to. I can already tell, I'm looking at it, I'm going, man, um, this is not the same. All kayaks are not created equal. And um, I've said it on plenty of podcasts that I've been able to be lucky enough to be a part of. I always look at Old Town as the standard. And uh, I'm just, I'm excited, I'm pumped. I can't wait to uh, get into open water, get this thing out there and, and get that first fish. And, and, and man, Pumped, very excited. Off to the mod shop, maniac mod shop. Let's go. this bad boy off at the maniac mod shop she don't have a name yet but she will so keep it simple like i said i just want to get that that looks so pretty oh i wish it was open water right now i don't even know if i would do anything i would just get on it and go throwing the striker four by garmin in there and then the tough crate what was it flambo flambo of course tough crate, and that thing is beautiful i'm gonna throw that with the uh only thing i really want on that is just those brackets for the uh catch board um well, you're on the, and this thing will be ready to go classic one so you just need one Upgraded the pin on the rudder. Yeah, so now you have a stainless steel bolt instead of a pin that can okay. actually, you know, mess you up. Yep. From my good friends over at Yak Cobby, we hooked you up with some seat leashes. So pretty yeah, much you can hook whatever uh, tools you want to these things. Yeah, that's perfect. Have a little, put a little bungee on the lip gripper, yeah. stuff like that, and a pair of pliers. Install your Garmin Trigger 4. Give you a nice Yak attack. For it. Look at that. Yeah, that's solid. And then all Love your wires it. are right here. Oh, you just plug them in. I'm sure you know how to figure that out. I know you're not the smartest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, you don't be so sure I'm going to figure something <laughs> out. <laughs> 
So we got you your scupper plug for your transducer from Narver kayak fishing. Okay. And uh, literally just stainless steel bolt mounts to your transducer, goes underneath, and we'll pull it forward so you can actually see without bending this. Yeah. I'm sure you don't want to spend a thousand dollars again. No. Because that's how much the drive costs. <laughs> so underneath it, as you can get under there, transducer is so, you don't have a problem dragging this thing. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's stuffed up. Yeah, that ain't going, that ain't gonna <laughs> touch the ground. No, drag that, no problem. And then inside we have a custom built battery box for your Mako battery. I love it, yep. And a custom battery tray underneath. So all I do, oh yeah, that's sitting there nice. I just throw the little battery in there, plug it right on in. And if you need to charge it, take out the battery or the whole box. Everything's all thrown in so you don't have to worry about it pulling out. Hell yeah. Fish finder when I'm transporting I just pop it right off. Yeah. And then this this is the trans uh the mount and everything's fine. That could sit up there while it's on the roof. Dude. Well it's also quick too. Um have you ever seen one of these mounts? Not like that, no. So you can undo it there. Yeah. Take your switch, pop it up. Oh yeah. Look at that. Quick release. Just on and lock it down. Old Town 106 PDL from Black Hall Outfitters, modded up by the Maniac Mod Shop. Let's go, tournament ready. You hope. <laughs> there might be a little hidden uh, remote scrubber plug somewhere. <laughs>